Be Wealthy and Smart, episode number 237. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. Today, I wanted to cover a MarketWatch article with you about mortgage rates jumping to a 2017 high. And what you'll learn today are why interest rates are important and why normalization isn't necessarily anything different than just raising interest rates and how this is going to impact you in the future. Well, MarketWatch put up an article that I want to share with you, and it is called Mortgage Rates Jump to a 2017 High. Here's the article. Rates for home loans spiked along with a surge in treasury yields as Federal Reserve officials guided market expectations toward an interest rate increase next week, mortgage provider Freddie Freddie Mac said Thursday. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged 4.21%, up 11 basis points during the week. The 15-year fixed rate mortgage averaged 3.42%, up from 3.32%. Then it has a chart of the 30-year fixed rate mortgage average in the United States. And it shows that in July of 2014, rates started to come down and bottomed on July of 2016, and then have spiked about 25% from there, from below 3.5% up to almost four and a quarter percent. Then it goes on to say, the five-year treasury indexed hybrid adjustable rate mortgage averaged 3.32% up from 3.14% last week. Those rates don't include fees associated with obtaining mortgage loans. For the first time in weeks, the 30-year mortgage rate moved with treasury yields and jumped 11 basis points, Freddie Chief Economist Sean Bacchetti said in a release. The strength of Friday's employment report and the outcome of next week's FOMC meeting are likely to set the direction of next week's survey rate. The 10-year Treasury yield up 1.65%, which the 30-year mortgage loosely tracks, rose about 10 basis points during the week. Economists surveyed by MarketWatch are forecasting a strong non-farm payroll number on Friday, and most investors expect the Fed will raise rates by another quarter percent next week. While average rates are the highest so far in 2017, they're still lower than long-time averages, and the 11 basis point jump during the week is a bit bigger than usual, but not unheard of. Rates surged 14 basis points one week last December in the wake of the presidential election. End of article. Okay, why is this important to you? Well, first of all, it gives us the trend, and the trend is interest rates are rising. This will be the third interest rate hike that the Fed has done, And it is likely to be the first of three, perhaps four, this year, according to the Fed. So they have said that they want to raise interest rates possibly four times. That would be once each quarter, conceivably, this year. Now, the interesting thing is that when interest rates rise, the effect on the economy is a negative. That means it slows down purchases because people have to pay more for money. Interest rates go up on mortgages, fewer people buy homes, fewer people can afford homes. Um, You know, rates on adjustable rate mortgages go up, rates on other things go up. So it does slow down the economy, whereas when interest rates are low, that stimulates the economy. So with the Fed raising interest rates, it provides a headwind on the economy. Just recently, I was listening to the World Economic Forum videos, and one of the speakers there was a banker, and she said, well, the Fed is raising rates, but it's just, it's not really about raising rates. It's about normalizing rates. Well, it doesn't matter the reason that they're raising rates. Yes, they want to get back into a normal range of interest rates, which would be somewhere between 6 to 8%, but 
the effect on the consumer and the effect on the economy is the same. Whether you're raising rates to normalize them or whether you're raising rates to slow the economy, the effect is it will slow the economy. It will slow mortgage refinances and it will slow people buying uh, homes. So the fact that interest rates are rising Again, due to normalization or whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Any increase in interest rates serves as a headwind, slows down the economy, and that's the effect that this is going to have on the economy. Check out my YouTube channel. I've just uploaded this report to a YouTube channel called Be Wealthy and Smart. And if you haven't yet subscribed, rated, and reviewed the podcast, I would love to have you do that. If you haven't yet gone to get your 11 quick financial tips to boost your wealth, my free PDF, go to lindapjones.com right now and pick that up. It's 11 quick things you can do to get your net worth moving in the right direction. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.